Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are headed out. We have a big day, a busy day. Um, a horseback riding, all of us together. My big dream. Just trying to find my sweater. We took so many cars yesterday, all the driving we did, that I don't even know where I left my sweater. But welcome to today. I just want to point out something. <laughs> We're laughing, that's why. They're laughing at me because to them, sitting in the van waiting for me, I walked over to the truck opened the door and looked inside, closed the door, came to the van. They all thought I was lost. <laughs> Didn't know we were going in the van, but the truth is, I was looking for my sweater. You guys can vouch for me. We know, you, we know that percent. you're dumb enough to overlook the van right in the middle of the road. Okay, okay. I might be a little dumb. It's all <laughs> but I, listen, I videoed that I was looking for my sweater. So the girls wanted to just take a second and go to the mall before we start riding. This It's only 11 a.m., but already I've lived a lifetime. I've worked on the house cleaning up. I've fed the goats. I've taken care of the goats, taken care of that baby. I've been able to bottle feed her, which is so amazing. I'll explain a little bit more when I go down to the goat barn later um, about that little toffee that we have, Sophie's little show goat. Amazing, like how well she's settling in and what she's like. She's just an amazing little goat. But anyway, we're heading off to the mall. Uh, the girls want to try and find some clothes. Sophie wants jeans. It's summer. It's summer, well, Sophie. Well, because Gabby's still mine. Gabby went shopping in Sophie's closet. She likes baggy clothes. So, anyways, Gabby could get some clothes too. <laughs> but we'll be back in just a little bit. And we are going to get our horses on the go and we're all going to go riding. What happened? Did they make you hide? She's so cute, you guys. are so weird you guys her little belly is a little bit filled in i filled in i don't know how much she's actually getting to eat because the other goats are kind of mean to her and pushing her off but she was really unhappy with us at the house keeping her separated it was really difficult so we take a, took a little risk here put her with the other goats and she's doing better but she's drinking a she's drinking a uh, goat milk from a bottle beautifully i'm so excited i have lots of, she's licking her lips Look, she has a milk mustache. <laughs> she, it wasn't even a bottle baby, but she sucks it down. I literally put it in her mouth and she just started drinking it so, so easy. And that can be really hard for goats to do a bottle. Lola also took a bottle when we got her and she probably wasn't bottle fed. But anyway, um, I just want to give her a bottle. I'm giving her three bottles a day right now just to like keep her weight up and keep her going while she's getting used to the herd, while she's settling in. But you guys, little lady is settling in. Actually, she's not so little, but she's settling in beyond anything I could ever imagine. Let's go. Sophie's getting her ready. We're going to get ready for a ride. I got my riding shirt on. This is my favorite riding shirt. It's got like little bleach stains on it. it has some little holes in the bottom of it. It is my favorite shirt to ride in. It's just like super airy and I don't know. It's just always been my good luck charm. So let's go see lady and see what she's doing. In other news, um, Miss Piggy here is going to sleep in the barn for the first night ever. I'll show you guys what we're going to do for her. Decided that this is for sure going to be the pig stall because it doesn't have a feeder in it. That one over there, I don't know if you can see it, has a feeder in there. Much better for goats. I'm going to put her in that stall tonight and make her a nice comfy bed. We're going to get to see <laughs> how she does for the first time in the barn. She's been out all morning, it's glorious, it's dark out. Looks like it's gonna rain, so that's really helpful because then she doesn't have too much sun on her and she doesn't know enough to like go in the shelter when she gets overheated yet. If you guys see, Sam is out there a building himself a fence and what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate up there it's going to be one field where Penny and Willow are right now. It's going to be the Gracie and Storms field so they can come out here and have some grass. They'll have that shelter. And then, so there's a gate up there. So they'll be able to run back and forth there. And then this field, um, the horses will be able to go in there, access that shelter, access their water over there. There's two ways 
that they can get their water, one here, one there, and the girls will have this field for now. This is so temporary. <laughs> Honey's like, I'm coming! <laughs> So temporary because um, just till we get everything settled with the horses. Storm just wants to keep his ladies safe. And so any threat to his herd kind of throws him into overdrive and he goes a little over the top. So we're gonna let the girls settle in. He's got his trusted friend, Gracie. So we're gonna like over the next couple weeks, maybe two weeks, let them settle. They're doing really well. And then we'll add Gracie and Storm back into the herd. We want them to all be in the herd together. If they can, hopefully they can. I think they can. In fact, I think Lady's the kind of horse that everybody that will everybody will like. She's actually kind of like a leader, and but she's kind of like more of a gentle, relaxed leader than Storm is. So I think it will work out. Door. I have to eat before we ride. I don't only I'll just make a peanut butter sandwich. Let's see what Sophia did to me. What did Sophia? After her dog got scared at a statue. Okay, no, something was chasing us in the grass. So last night the girls went for a run. It was a walk. A walk in the dark. It was fun. It was oh, fun. you she got a tiny boo boo. No, she stepped on my ankle. You stepped on her ankle. Well, I was looking and I was like running was to the other side the road. Of the she was walking close to the road and something slithered in the grass. It was like a snake. It went into the grass because it got scared of us. So it was going away and she went ah! and like. Definitely. You should have jumped away fast. Oh, she didn't even think. <laughs> All right, I, I didn't. I didn't move away because it wasn't scary. It yes. Wasn't for me, because I was right beside. That's me. what happens. You got one scared girl and one non-scared girl oh, together. I was beside, but my dog was on high alert. Your dog put you like, on. It could have been like a toad. Like Did toad. you take Molly with you for a walk last night? Yeah, and Daisy. Oh, that's so Daisy nice. Daisy is the one that got scared out of statue, so he's like, let's head back. I was in bed, man. I was exhausted. Yesterday was a hard day for me, being in the car all day. Um, look, at she's got poop or something on her leg. Yeah, me and Gladys should go for a walk every night. Yeah, I think we that's... We should push our bedtime back a little bit. <laughs> well, it's almost summer holidays. We finally reached the stage where my kids have like a busier nightlife than me. <laughs> I'm always happy almost always happy yesterday i was less happy i'm almost always happy because i always get a lot of sleep i need sleep i recognize that and i'm okay with it comment below if you like feathers on a horse I don't. not everybody does poor lady got her feathers cut off they will be staying cut off sylvie says they'll be staying cut off but i love feathers that's like part of the appeal of a clydesdale look at her little Butter. Utter. Do you guys think that she's maybe had babies before? All that rope. You guys remember all the rope fences that we had at our old farm? All of it, it's coming in handy now. I think our horses are finally at the stage where she's like, oh yes, brush my face, Laura. Brush it. <laughs> I feel like our, the, our horses are finally at the stage now where they understand that the pig is here and that the pig is just a part of our life. And I was grooming Penny and the pig came up and sniffed her feet. And if you're an OG follower, then you might know that Penny never is really sensitive about her back feet. And when I got her, any horse that ran up behind her back feet, she would be like so upset about. And he came up, the pig came up and literally sniffed her feet. And she slightly lifted her foot up. Just, she just lifted it up gently, Penny did. And then the, and then the, and then Posey just ran off. She just like backed up, ran off, but they're all getting used to each other. And I think until we get our new pig, I think like it's important for Posey to go around and explore and see who she's gonna be friends with because she's gonna make her own friends. So a change of plans, you guys. <laughs> Gabby wants Storm to see the Cairo first. I'm gonna have Cairo come and do all three of the big horses. And she thinks that in his last lesson, he seemed a little, little out in the back end. That's where he usually gets out when he goes out. So she wants him to see Cairo before she rides him. Gabby's gonna ride Penny. <laughs> and we're gonna go gallop in the field. What? We're gonna go gallop in the field. I do not think you should gallop that horse. I will be fine. I mean, I think you can gallop her, but I think we need to go slow. This horse is never, so the only time she's ever cantered under saddle, the first time she cantered under saddle was with Sophie and she does beautifully. She needs lots of slow exercise. 
She needs lots of slow exercise to build up her muscles properly before you do a ton of cantering. So I think if you want to do like a tiny canter up a hill or something, okay, no problem. But I don't want you galloping through fields. Although I know she can gallop through fields and I know you would be so happy to gallop her through fields. By the end of this summer, you guys, she'll be... She'll have breaks. She'll stop once we get to the gate she will gallop through fields. Look at her, see those ears? Those are the ears she always has. I may or may not be being groomed. <laughs> so I told Penny that I'm not riding her. Okay. She, she seems sad. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go, Pen. She knows exactly where to go. Her ears are pinned. You know why her ears are pinned? Because she's pinning in them at storm. Like I, it's starting to rain, of course. I almost feel like Penny is just so much happier without Storm in her field. If we have to end up just splitting them, then we will. All right. Um, no, because it looks like her saddle slid back. Oh, we'll fix her saddle then. So just to remind you guys that I'm posting all of our riding stuff as short videos. I might put like a few seconds in a video or something. But I want to start short. I want to start posting all of our riding is in short video format. Yeah, they do not look even. Yeah, they might look even now. They look fine now. Oh, well, you're such a sweet girl. She's like, am I going with that, her horse? The you're boss the of you? Person, All right. Will this be the start of Penny being in the behind, you guys? As a mom, it makes me feel happiness just seeing my kids get out and enjoy the horses, even if I can't ride. And actually, I could ride after. I'm all, I have all my riding stuff on. And I might because oh, I don't have my boots on. Anyway, we can't ride over here yet or any of, any of the fields yet because the hay is, still needs to get cut. So it's high in all the areas that we ride. People do ride through like the hay fields and stuff, but it's a bit rocky in some areas. We like to be able to see where we're going. But soon, at the beginning of June, in the next week or so, it should get cut. And then all bits are off. So people will finally be able to gallop through the field. It's only about a 10 minute ride back and forth. And Sophie is addicted. You guys, I have a problem on my hands. I can't keep Sophie out of the saddle. Like she, I told her not to canter her. I said, if you canter her, two seconds up the hill. That's it. You have to build her slowly. She comes galloping up the hill. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No cantering this time and I mean it. Yeah. I mean it. Okay. Be good to Gabby, Penny. She is such a nice horse, you guys. I, I, I can't even believe it. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen though. Literally looked down and they were coming at me. I'm like, Sylvie, slow down. And she just has the biggest smile on her face, slow, gently cantering. She was gentle up the hill. She gets to the end of the trail and she says, Turn around, Gabby, we're going again. <laughs> and then that's it. I want this horse to like, go slow. Like I want her to build, I mean, she has ridden on trails lots of times, but <laughs> I want her to like, be a jumping horse. Wait. Sophie is honestly like insane. So they're just gonna cool out now. I literally, I did not expect this from Sophie. Like she's just addicted, like she just, wants to ride 24 7 now and i want her to, to go slow look at this field though i'm terrified of snakes wow i'm just waiting for them to come back from walking from cooling out but gabby says she doesn't want a new horse she definitely doesn't want one she's thinking about like in the fall when she's busy in school all the time but now that it's summertime and she like actually is excited to go out there and do stuff she's outgrown storm and it makes it difficult for her we plan to do riding with friends this summer especially in the fall but even in the summer and it sucks because she really needs like another horse to ride oh so i get it she's thinking ahead she's smart she knows like this is summer is just temporary but man, it would be really nice for her to have a horse that like she could really enjoy on the trails this summer. Okay, I missed it, but Penny is really happy to get home. <laughs> she's been like prancing like this the whole way. I, if I let go of her mouth even a little bit, she's like this. I'm gonna have to like hold her down, Mom. Yeah, hold her down, it's hot. Look at her, she's so... Cantering up a hill twice. 
that's all she did. With me not on her face, okay. she was going. She loved going. Once yes. she goes, she's like, okay, I'm doing this every time. So you think... On the way back, I couldn't like... This horse face. likes to do stuff, but do you think you could gallop her? Yeah. Yeah, I think you could too. I'm going to watch you because I know what you're planning. Look how Willow just follows along behind Penny beautifully. The field is a lot more quiet, a lot more happy, a lot more gentle with Penny in charge. I just think Storm needs more geldings. I think he has just a different personality, he takes his job seriously, and he rules with an iron fist. But man, these girls are literally a quiet and calm with a new horse in the field with them. Look, she still has energy. 